Hello everybody, Pete Popovich here at Old South Golf Links. It's a beautiful day in the low country. We got the RBC Heritage down at Harbortown, but today I'm going to talk to you about perspective. We all know perspective is reality, but I want to make sure that your perspective doesn't turn your perfectly technically sound stroke in a perfectly technically sound stroke in the wrong direction. <laughs> Okay, so we all know that perception is reality, and in particular in putting, and it is no different in putting, that where we perceive uh, things to be and what, we see, what our eyes see and tell our brain, that's how our brain is going to perform uh, the motion, the function, or whatever we're trying to do. And putting is no different. Uh, so a lot of people like to say that your eyes should be inside the ball when you putt. Now what I'm referring to by inside, for, for some of those who might not know, that would be when you set up to your putter that if you were to draw a line straight down from where your eyes are, they would be closer to you from the target line, which would be this white string right here. So your eyes would be inside the target line. There are a fair number of people uh, who putt well like that, and there's some people who putt except exceptionally well. But for the whole and for the masses, um, it is better that I have found through many years and decades of teaching that you'll be much more consistent if your eyes are directly over top of the ball, meaning when you set up to the hit your putt, your eyes would be right over the center of the golf ball, okay? Now, here's the reason, and this is what I mean by perspective can take a technically perfect stroke, but move it in the wrong direction. If you set up and your eyes are too far inside the ball, all right, your eyes are gonna look to the hole at an angle like this. Now, there's two problems with that. One is for every incremental distance you get away from the hole, that angle changes slightly, so you are not seeing the hole consistent throughout your round. So one, if you have a three-footer on one hole, it's looking at a slightly different angle than if you have a 30-footer on another hole. The second part, and probably the one that's not talked about as much, but is much more prevalent, is as you set up, if the visual imagery that you have from your eyes being inside is looking to the hole on an angle, that develops the picture and the pattern for movement in your brain and your technically perfect stroke can be technically perfect but in the wrong direction meaning for a right hander too much in to out okay and if that happens you're getting your stroke in to out there's going to be a tendency for you to roll your hands roll the toe over and then now you're trying to counteract something that's wrong with something else uh, to make that uh, equal out so uh, again it is better and much more consistent all the way around if you have your eyes directly over top of the ball as you set up. Again, that way you're looking straight down the target line for each putt. There is no uh, angular difference. And what your eyes see and what your, the, the picture that your brain develops is straight down that line and it's not too much in to out. So give that a try. Next time you go out and practice, make sure your eyes are directly over the ball. And I think your putting and your scores are gonna be a heck of a lot better. Hey everybody, Pete here from the Golf Paradigm. Thanks for watching the video. You can check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you want to watch more videos or subscribe, you can do it right here.